In Beyond Causal Explanation, Einstein's Principle, Not Reichenbach's, Professors Silberstein, Stuckey, and McDevitt provide a principal account of quantum entanglement. In 1935, Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen famously predicted that quantum mechanics would permit distantly separated objects to affect each other's behavior instantaneously. This phenomenon is now called quantum entanglement, but Einstein referred to it pejoratively as spooky actions at a distance. Today, 86 years later, physicists have produced exotic attempts to explain the mysterious quantum correlations, such as faster-than-light causal influences through space, and causal influences coming from the future. But there is still no consensus answer to the greatest mystery in physics. As John Bell famously said, correlations cry out for explanation. And most people expect explanation to involve causal relations of some sort. That is, per Reichenbach's principle, if A and B are correlated, A causes B, or B causes A, or they share a latent common cause. In this paper, we abandon Reichenbach's principle and instead adopt Einstein's relativity principle, the laws of physics are the same in all inertial reference frames, to resolve the mystery of quantum entanglement in principle fashion. In physics, Einstein called theories built dynamically on causal relations constructive theories. Examples would be Newtonian and statistical mechanics. In contrast, he called theories built analytically on empirically discovered principles principle theories. Examples there include special relativity and thermodynamics. We argue that retrocausal accounts of quantum mechanics are problematic precisely because they do not fully transcend the assumption that causal or constructive explanation must always be fundamental. Unlike retrocausal accounts, our principal account is a complete rejection of Reichenbach's principle. Furthermore, we argue that the basis for our principal account of quantum mechanics is the physical principle sought by quantum information theorists for their reconstructions of quantum mechanics. Accordingly, we show how the relativity principle applied to the measurement of Planck's constant h resolves the mystery of quantum entanglement. As Stern and Gerlach rotated their magnets, they saw no change in the deflection pattern of atoms. This is totally analogous to the relativity principle being applied to the measurement of the speed of light c to resolve the mysteries of time dilation and length contraction in special relativity. As Michelson and Morley rotated their interferometer, they saw no change in the interference pattern. Thus, all of these mysteries have a common principal explanation, but have thus far proven to reside beyond causal explanation.